Hey, this is Savvy Nick, and today we'll be going to Debian.org and downloading the Debian install image as well as talking about some terms that are used on their website. We'll first discuss the differences under the Getting Debian section. Network install allows you to get a small image which will then download all the required packages while installing Debian, but this will require an internet connection as you're installing Debian. The CD USB ISO images will give you a full installation of Debian and doesn't require access to the internet while installing. Note that the download image will be larger because of this if you go ahead and select this option. The CD vendors option allows you to actually get a CD mailed to you with the Debian install already on the CD. The last option is you can purchase a computer that already has Debian pre-installed. The getting started just refers you back to the nav at the top and then news just tells you what the latest and greatest news is from Debian. And then you finally have the security advisories, which are all the security updates that have been happening lately. If we go back to the top here, and then select the CD USB ISO images, we'll go ahead and get a download going. Let's go ahead and not use the network install, but go down here to the download CD DVD images using HTTP. And let's go ahead and select a stable version since we are beginners here and don't want to use the version still being tested. This will just take us to the bottom of the page. As you can see, if we scroll up. So let's go back down. And what we have here is two sections, one for the CD image and then a DVD image. Uh, the DVD image is going to be larger in size and it's going to be the full install. As you can see, it's up to 4.4 gigabytes in size. And then the CD image is actually just the network installer. So it's really small, 650 megabytes in size, but you'll have to go ahead and have a persistent internet connection in order to install all the packages while you're going through the installer. Then you'll have the choice between what architecture you want to use. Uh, most of us will have a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit computer. Uh, refer to your processor that's in the computer where you plan on installing Debian if you're uncertain. But uh, in our case, we're going to use the AMD64. All AMD64 means is it's for a 64-bit computer. Uh, I386 is the 32-bit option. So Pick one between these. These other ones are really just other embedded platforms that you can use, such as ARM. Um, so we'll go ahead and avoid these. I'm going to go ahead with AMD 64 because I have a 64-bit computer. Click on there. And then scroll to the bottom of the page where you can actually see the image files. Uh, as you can see here, Debian 9.9, .9, AMD 64, 64-bit option which Debian version, 9.9, .9. and then it says the net INST ISO image, so that means the net installer. So this is the one we want. We'll go ahead and click on here, and then it'll go ahead and start downloading for us. Next thing you'll do is go ahead and make a bootable image out of this uh, by putting it on a USB stick or a CD, and then putting it into your computer that you want to install Debian on. For more help with this, go ahead and refer to some of my other videos. And if this video helped you get Debian downloaded, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on another video.